A return to the polls is looking more and more imminent after Table Tennis Jamaica and President Godfrey Lothian lost the case brought against them by former presidential challenger Karen Sinclair Lim. But as we hear in this report from Renardo Brown, Lothian isn't ready to leave the post he has held for the last six years. President or not, that seemed to be the question now in regards to Godfrey Lothian's leadership of Table Tennis Jamaica, or should I say, the Jamaica Table Tennis Association. As a result of the ruling, Mr. Lothian is not president of anything, and Table Tennis Jamaica does not exist. The decision to grant the annulment of the election was made on Tuesday at the Supreme Court. In a story carried by TVJ Sports in May, Mrs. Sinclair Lim challenged the process by which the association's constitution was changed on January 28. She also challenged the election process at TTJ's annual general meeting. The number of clubs and affiliates that took part in voting on both occasions and the move to have the association name changed to Table Tennis Jamaica. Attorney for Mrs. Sinclair Lim, Douglas Thompson, explains the reason behind the decision by the Supreme Court to grant the orders to his client. They had not responded yeah. to our claim at all. Mm -hmm. So procedurally, they were totally out of time. However, yeah. however, at about after three the day before, an affidavit was filed. But the affidavit did not put forward a defense. In fact, the affidavit actually was agreeing with what, we, what our complaint was and what we were claiming that was improper. The thing was served on us the 9th of May. And we, in terms of table tennis Jamaica, financially, does not have this large proportion of money to pay lawyers. So we have to be juggling, juggling, and juggling. TVJ Sports obtained a copy of the affidavit submitted by Lothian, signed September 16 in response to Mrs. Sinclair Lim's claims. Point 15 confirms a walkout at the AGM and the absence of some reports, but throughout the document, no mention of the presentation of the association's audited finances. Lothian's affidavit also cited challenges faced with the registration of TTJ with the company's office of Jamaica. So with the special meeting and the AGM now declared null and void, what's next for the parties involved? At this juncture, I believe that I, I think going back to the polls would be inevitable. Um, I'm, but my confidence is still there given the support I know Mr. Lothian has that he'll be reinstated and that this thing will just, you know, pass. As a matter of time, it will pass. And I believe that if we just have a meeting for both parties and we can flesh out certain things that we can see a change in the very near future. So that will have to happen, you know. When they come together and say, okay, and I suggest that it is done under the, 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 the auspices of the JOA, and they say, okay, this is the body we are going to put in place to represent table tennis. Then they have elections to vote for the persons who would be the officers of that body. Renata Brown reporting for TVJ Sports.